Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, I am Chronicles. So if this is your first time here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If this is not your first time and you've already subscribed, welcome. If this is not your first time and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's just a button away. Just hit on the subscribe button. Thank you. So guys, I'm so sorry for the not posting of videos for quite a while. I think throughout the month of February. But I'm here. So today, we're going to be talking about love languages. As you all know, love is a language that people express in so many different ways. So I'm going to be talking about the five love languages that people express their love language without even knowing it. So it's best for you to know your love language and that of your partner so that you can express it in a better way that they can understand you since it's their love language. So welcome guys. So the five love language I'm going to be discussing are love languages are acts of services, words of affirmation, <clears throat> quality time, gifts and physical touch. Yes. So I think everybody falls into one of the categories if not all and if you have all of these five love languages then i believe one must stand out for you because yes that's just how it should be so the first love language i'm going to be talking about is words of affirmation for those of you that fall under this category you like verbal acknowledgement of affection it may include i love you <coughs> I miss you, I want you, I need you, I want to be this beside you, so what's like that, it could even be words of encouragement and motivation to your partner, or you receiving it from your partner, so whatever it is, you love verbal expression of how you feel, or how your partner feels towards you, so if you fall under this category, then your love language is words of affirmation so for the next one i'm going to be talking about quality time if you fall under this category you love um attention from your partner you love to spend time with your partner no matter how busy you may get or how busy your partner may get you love for them to make at least some time for you both to be able to like spend time together and get to know each other better yeah i think in a good way so yes it's, a, it's it's actually very good for you to spend quality time with your partners especially before marriage so that you know what you are signing up for so quality time yes if you love quality time this is your love languages if you don't like you want to spend quality time off social media off um, watching TV and stuff like that you just want to have this personal intimate quality time together yes that's what quality time as a love language is all about so the next one I'm going to be talking about is acts of service if you fall under this category you want your partner to show you via their actions not just words through their actions you believe like um how do they say it uh yes action speaks louder than words which i think everybody likes this because me now i would love for my partner to show me not just tell me how they feel about me but to also also show me how they feel about me yes so if you fall under this category yes you your love language is acts of service it could be any little thing it could be um paying bills for your partner it could be doing the laundry for your partner cooking for your partner it could be doing the dishes just act just actions that shows that you love them not just you verbally expressing to them or saying to them how you feel about them well nothing is little to actually show 
your partner how you feel because little can be everything so yes this love language is just all about showing them via your actions how you feel about them not just what so the next love language i'm going to be talking about is gifts this love language love to express their love through receiving gifts it's just a visual symbol a visual representation of love so they love gifts and you loving gifts doesn't actually make you materialistic yes when you are being materialistic you just care all, only about the gift and not just any gift too. very expensive gifts like iphone 13 which is out or something out so some people will be like babe if you don't love me or if you love me rather you have to buy me an iphone 13 which is wrong i think that's wrong you don't have to condition your partner to buy you a gift for them to show that they actually love you if they do it when you that's actually different so it's not a measure of love so being materialistic is different to, from you liking gifts you liking gifts it could be as a, it could be as little as receiving a card that you cherish or you, or you know your partner cherish and it could mean a lot to them a lot so we are all wired differently so gift gifting your partner with gifts is actually a thing yes it's actually a thing a love language so if a gift is your thing then you fall under this category so and like i said it could be as little as anything like for example your partner is um, a fashion designer and um, maybe their machine is faulty just sewing machine or they have a design of fashion school and they need more machines or materials could be needles materials fabrics you can get it for them and they will really appreciate it so this love language it's it's not just any gift but meaningful gifts that add value to their lives it could be expensive yes it could be actually very expensive so that's also a thing so that aside the next love language i'll be talking about is physical touch yes physical touch it's a love language for some people yes and they love they love to be touched so like that's their own way of expressing how they feel towards you or how you feel towards them by touching it could be as little as holding hands kissing touching cuddling together on the couch even sex preferably for married people no. <laughs> all of all we get multiple partners <laughs> so this love language is just all about touching touch just physical touch they love to be touched they appreciate being touched by their partners well, however they want to be touched so this is these are basically the five love languages that i know of and i know that there is so you can actually get the book concept of love languages online it was developed by gary chapman so you can get that to know more about your love language and that of your partner so guys thank you guys for staying staying tuned thank you guys for subscribing please subscribe like and share this video thank you very much and please comment below thank you guys so much stay tuned for more videos